Encaustic art is beeswax paintings. <laughs> I always hear beeswax paintings. They just can't believe it. It's considered one of the first forms of easel painting. It's ancient, 2,000 years ago. It's incredible. My name is Jessie Fritsch. I am an encaustic artist, and I have been painting with beeswax for 14 years. I live in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Encaustic is one of the most durable forms of painting. Beeswax is a natural preservative. It's a natural adhesive, resistant to moisture, resistant to insects. So these paintings will last for thousands and thousands of years. I found that truly fascinating. I was fascinated by the ancient history. And then once I actually used the medium and saw how vibrant the colors were, I was completely hooked. The thing is with encaustic, you don't have time to really ponder and think about where the wax is gonna go once it leaves the heat source. So a lot of times I like to have somewhat of a detailed drawing in place so I, I know exactly where the wax is gonna go so I don't have to think about it. Then I can start the fun part of applying the wax. Beeswax just needs something rigid and porous to adhere to. So I primarily paint on wood. Beeswax paint is simply beeswax, powdered pigments, the same powdered pigments that are in oils or watercolor, and then Damar resin, which is a tree sap. With encaustic, there is no drying time. You have about five to eight seconds to put the paint down before it just begins to clump up and won't flow off your brush anymore, and you have to reheat it. So I'm constantly reheating my brush and my paint, applying the paint, then immediately going back, reheating my brush and my paint, applying it again. The big issue with encaustic is the fumes, is the ventilation. So beeswax is actually toxic if you heat it over 250 degrees. I heat it at around 180 to 200. And after 250, it starts smoking and creates formaldehyde and another carcinogenic. Um, no respirator will save you from those fumes. So you can see in my art studio, I have a very strong ventilation system. Wax is very forgiving in the sense that if you put it down and you didn't like it, you can just scrape it off and start over. It's not like watercolor, like you, you can't make a mistake. However, the part that it's not forgiving in is the fusing part, which is absolutely essential to encaustic. All right, I'm ready to fuse. The word encaustic comes from the Greek word encaustikos, which means to burn in. So each layer of beeswax must be fused or burned into the layer of wax beneath it. The overall goal with fusing is you're trying to make one cohesive sheet of wax. I basically need to heat the paint up to 180 degrees on my surface so it will adhere to the layer beneath. The minute the wax cools, it is finished and you can paint another layer of wax. I'm not a patient person in life, but somehow with encaustic, I'm able to be patient. Um, because as you can see, there's all these different steps to this process. So, piece will take me like a week or two weeks, depending on how big it is. To really finally like sit back and look at it, you just see it differently. You know, you invest all this time in something. It's really just satisfying. You know, when you talk to so many kids, right, what do you want to be when you grow up? Probably like a handful will be like, oh, I want to be an artist, you know, and of course I always said that because um, I always was passionate about it. I always liked art and I was just, I was good at it. But did I think that that would really end up being my career? Well, it can if you work at it. And it is thrilling to just sit and watch people be like, oh my God, that's beeswax? Are you serious? Like what? And you, and you just tell them the ancient history. Then they're like completely blown away. And I just really enjoy teaching people about something that is a lost art. Mm -hmm.